Hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes and this episode is extremely important guys because there's been a major, major update, the update to the game. This is the fish fight update that they just recently introduced. Now, I was just made aware of this update today so I really haven't had a lot of chance to test out everything. I, I've fiddled around a little bit but in addition to adding the ability to fight the fish, they have now added uh, another map and maybe two, I'm not sure. And they've also added some species that I've asked for particularly. Uh, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass have been added and sturgeon. That's just uh, that I know of at this point. But there's been a lot of other changes that have occurred too guys so let me go ahead and show you real quick here now I'm gonna take a look at the settings here and the reason I'm doing this is I want you to be able to see on some of the settings what you have to do to get things set up now uh, I don't think it's on the bindings let me see where did I have to set that was it equipment It must have just said, it. oh, here it is. It's under the tournaments, guys. If you go down here, you'll see that there is an option here for having the fish fights occurring. This is also under the start game. You can either turn that on or off. Now, if it's off, obviously, it's going to be like it was before. With it on, it's going to be a lot more action going on, guys. Now, another big change that has occurred here is, as I spoke earlier they've added uh, some additional well looks like it's just one new map it's called gold rush and we'll take a quick look at that and it looks like that the smallmouth bass and largemouth bass sturgeon black bullhead and the smelt all the newest species have been added this particular lake and I don't know about the previous lakes but I do know that most of these are present with all of the new ones. Yes, this has the sturgeon. Doesn't have the bass. Emperor's Garden has the largemouth and smallmouth. So a lot of the new ones have the new fish. And another interesting thing. Under the game types, they did add specific tournaments for smelt only perch and bass and only catfish and I think yes that's perch and bass so that gives you a chance if you're not catching the bass too often but I believe they're found pretty much in the same locations for the most part uh, the only thing is it's a little I, I tried a little bit in regards to the goat rush and tried fishing in the covered areas I didn't have any luck but I also did it in the winter so I haven't tried it in the spring and in the morning which is the primary times in either in the morning or in the evening to catch largemouth or smallmouth bass. Let's see. Anything else new that has changed? Uh, as far as the tutorial, I want this to show this to you real quick. Under the fish guide here, you can now look at the different species and it gives you, like the smallmouth bass, the approximate depths and the type of prey it likes to have where it can be found. See large mouth and small mouth or shallow to medium water. Sturgeon near the bottom. Black bullheads. Medium. That's one that I've, I've got a bit of an issue with but it says here surface to medium but it does tell you things like it's near shallow running waters but they can be bottom feeders at times so anyway that could be a help a little as far as if you're trying to go for specific species I again I haven't had time to really mess with it that much just yet now as far as the equipment goes nothing really has been added except some of the new equipment is now crucial for say smallmouth bass or black bullhead like the tiger that I have uh, this orange affection 
There's the bluegill, the dotsy, smallmouth bass also. I think, oh yeah, the wild pink, that's specific best for largemouth bass and perch. So if you're taking part in that one competition, that should help you. And the same is true with the baits. Like the small fish, largemouth bass like to go for that. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go ahead if I've got the money and purchase a few of those and some more of these shrimps. All right. Now we're going to take a look here real quick at the fish fighting dynamics. Now I'm going to go to this new map, the Gold Rush, to give you an idea of how this works. And I've already tried winter. I have not tried spring or falls. And since bass are most active in the morning and evenings, we're going to go, let's go with evening. And I'm not going to do a competition, so we're going to do free fishing at this point because still getting the hang of this new stuff. And let's go ahead and get started. All right. Now, I will tell you this. You're really going to need your depth finder here to get the right places. Now, it's my understanding that the largemouth bass, of course, like shallow to medium water. And I'm trying to remember, I think it's over on this side. Not absolutely sure here. Yep, there it is. Right over here, there is a down log. Now in real life if there were stick ups that's exactly where I'd be going. But this is the closest thing I can come to it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try here and see if I have any luck. Now I'm going to put it about in the middle of this. It's not very deep here, but I already have the proper lure and I've already got the proper bait that I'm using trout jam, which seems to be well liked by the largemouth bass. And we'll give it a shot here, guys. Now, everything else is pretty much the same. You basically just have to attract them watch for them to bite I haven't seen anything absolutely huge in this particular lake but of course I've only messed with it for maybe an hour I will be spending more time in getting the best locations here because these things like to swarm in certain places so come on fish there we go now you're seeing the fighting technique. You have to press your left mouse button and then release it. And I kind of do it in a up and down fashion because you don't want to get too high or snap your line. Okay, there's your perch. All right, let's go a little bit shallower. So we already know what's going to attract perch. So it bit off the side to side motion. So let's try it up and down here. There we go. He's bigger. Ah, brown trout. Okay, let's try deep. As deep as you can go, then, in this particular place. Alright, guys. I am not having a whole lot of luck here. Which is surprising, since this seems like a good location. But, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to this covered bridge area overpass or whatever you want to call it. Maybe this is a good enough cover for them. We'll 
get right underneath this thing. Should be shallow enough. Drop a little bit of lure here. Is that as deep as we can? No, it's not. All right. Where are the large mouths? Come on, guys. Where are you? Now, in the one hour I've done this, I have caught everything but. the newest species. I was too slow. Caught bluegill, caught pike, tench, brown trout, brook trout, ruffy, and carp. But so far, no sturgeon. No large mouths and no small mouths. There we go. We got something. It does take a lot of time to get these guys out of here. So if you're in a tournament, you got to be aware of that. Bluegill. <laughs> it's what I've been getting most of. Tell you what, let's switch lures here. We'll go ahead and try this Momishka. Put on a small fish. We'll see if that has any more attractant for these guys. Okay, whatever that was, it's big. Or at least decent size. It hit it pretty hard. So I don't let it drop too low because I'm afraid it might get off the line. That's a chub. Huh. Haven't caught one of those in a while. Okay, I still have fish on there. Let's go up a little higher this time. There we go. Rainbow trout. Nice. I think that's the first one of those I've caught. Well there's a good little place to know the location for those guys up shallow. Alright. Alright guys I think we're gonna pull up stakes here. We're gonna go one more place here. We're gonna go deep this time. Let's see. Let me take a good look at the map here. So the mouth of rivers. So up here, it's not really a river, but it's as close as we can get to one. This looks like a really good spot here, guys. Possibly for sturgeon. I don't really have a lure here that's specific for sturgeon, so I'm going to have to kind of hope for the best here. Um, tell you, you know, the green goblin has always been a good lure. And we're going to give it a shot. You never.
never know. But we got something. It's a perch. Give it another shot here. Well, I got a bite while I was sitting there. Okay, this is a big fish. At least bigger. I'm barely moving. Ah, that was big? <laughs> oh well. Anyway guys, that's the new dynamics of the fish fighting. Now what we're going to do is we're going to play the pole stakes, sell our fish, and we'll end this video. Now I will tell you, I will do my best to locate the best spots. Why am I going that way? Alright, there we go. Got stuck. Okay, looks like you sell the fish over here. Oh, that's not easy to get to. There we go. All right. Anyway, guys, that is the new fishing dynamics. So please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ice Lakes. So until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.